Problem 19. Find the mean absolute deviation for the given set of data. So this is our MAD. And despite not necessarily being very complicated, yes, I realize it takes up a little bit of space on your paper, which is why I'm going to go ahead and use a piece of textbook paper to uh, model this particular problem. So the very first thing we need to do is find our mean. So I'm going to use the calculator for that. 3 plus 21 plus 4 plus 9 plus 12 plus 8 plus 5 plus 2. Assuming I did all that right, I end up with 64 over 8 equals 8. And since this data is the same set of data that we used from problem 1, or the first page, at least I can't remember which problem it was, uh, I know that this answer is correct for the mean. Now remember, this is the work that I expect you to show for this type of a problem, because if for some reason you add up the terms incorrectly on the calculator and get 63 here, the rest of your answer is going to be completely wrong despite the fact that you can show me all the correct steps. That would be okay if I can see your work. If I can't see any work, then the answer is just wrong. So now, what do I do with this data? Well, I'm going to take my 8 which is my mean and I'm going to write it down 8 times because I have 8 different data points. And after I've written it down the eight times, then I'm going to subtract each one of my data points. So minus three, minus 21, minus four, minus nine, minus 12, minus eight, minus five, minus two. So now we won't need the worksheet for a little bit because we're going to do the rest of our work right now on the paper. So 8 minus 3 equals 5. 8 minus 21 equals negative 13. 8 minus 4 equals 4. 8 minus 9 equals negative 1. 8 minus 12 equals negative 4. 8 minus 8 equals 0. 8 minus 5 equals 3. 8 minus 2 equals 6. My next step is to take the absolute value of each of these terms. I'm going to draw a straight line and do absolute value. The absolute value of 5 equals 5. The absolute value of negative 13 equals 13. The absolute value of 4 equals 4. The absolute value of negative 1 equals 1. The absolute value of 4, again, sorry, negative 4 equals 4. The absolute value of 0 is 0. Absolute value of 3 equals 3. And the absolute value of 6 equals 6. And then the very last step is to add this column, or sorry, row up, and find its average. So I'm going to bring the calculator back. 5 plus 13 plus 4 plus 1, plus 4, plus 0, plus 3, plus 6. That would give me a value of 36. In order to find the mean of my absolute value deviation, I will divide by 8 because I add 8 values. 
And so my mad, my mean absolute deviation equals 4.5.